I uh, I kind of do a good Jim Cornette impression if you want to hear. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <clears throat> now I'm nervous. Uh, <laughs> you need a tennis racket. Yeah. Relax. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they used to stick me in a fucking room with Vince Russo every Saturday night down at TNA. I'm not now. I'm not very fond of Jeffrey right now. Because he's got some dumb bimbo running the fucking wrestling industry into the goddamn ground. <laughs> Everything was fucking built. Good. Keep <laughs> <You're> going. <laughs> I mean, we used to we used to do so, we used to do so much less, and the crowd loves it. Now they beat the shit out of each other, and everybody's sitting on their goddamn hands. <laughs> Good. Tell the story about the raccoon. Give us one more. Do the dairy. Do some more. One more. Uh, well, Brock, he's got this great look. I mean, the guy's 350 plus pounds, blah, 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 legitimate badass and whatnot. Well, he's working with Stacy down in OVW. <laughs> and Stacy, she's got all sorts of piercings and whatnot, and she just got her V done. And she tells Brock, now be careful with that piercing down there. Don't, no, don't lift me up too hard. Well, you know, Brock's 23 years old. He doesn't know his own goddamn strength. So he just oxes her up, and she's screaming, Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> you know, Brock goes backstage. I mean, he's a big guy, but I want to slap the shit out of him. <laughs> I was there not to help. <laughs>